Hey everybody, Jimmy and I decided to take a drive to my mom and dad's house. The reason being, because of the international plowing match in Finch. We are so excited for this. It literally is right down the road from my parents' home and everybody in this area is a buzz because of it. Over a thousand acres, uh, 500, 600 exhibitors that are gonna be there. We've heard fashion shows, cooking demonstrations, and of course, the plowing. So let's go have a look and see what the buzz is all about. We managed to find somebody working because, well, not that it was hard to find somebody working. They've been doing it diligently for the last while. Ron Reed is with me. Hi, Ron. How are you? Hi. Great. Thanks. Now, this is going to be a huge event for our area. You are from Peterborough, but are with the company of Toronto putting all these tents up. Can you tell us a little bit about what's going to go on in these tents? Absolutely. There's everything. I mean, people always say, what happens at a plowing match? Well, there's plowing, which has gone on for, you know, <laughs> yeah. 150 years, and there's a competition. But in the tented city itself that you can see behind you, um, everything from soup to nuts virtually. You can come here and you can buy a house. You can come here and buy, you know, salted popcorn. You can buy everything. There's all kinds of entertainment going on here. We have commercial tents with a lot of local vendors come in and sell their wares. Yeah. Um, the fence guy is here, you know, uh, there's uh, fish and chip trucks. You name it. This is a trade show outside and that's why they call it the Rural Expo. But the focus is on the rural, rural part of it. And it's a huge education program as well. There'll be about 2,000 kids coming through here through the school program. And they learn about uh, the uh, agriculture. You know, speaking of kids, I understand as well for all the parents that want to come out and take, uh, take their time going around. Because we've got 1,000 acres, over 600 exhibitors. Uh, sometimes the kids get a little antsy. I know there's a kid's spot too that you can drop the kids off. Yeah, there is. In fact, over here, the guys are just starting to put up one of the education tents. And it's, uh, it's all about farm animals and, and how to milk a cow and all that kind of stuff. So it's really educational and really fun for the kids as well. And you got a beer tent. Everybody oh, likes a beer tent. It's one of the bigger <laughs> tents. It's uh, 80 by 180 feet. Oh my goodness. And then you'll see way out to the back, um, that's the campground out there. And uh, we, I think there's probably well over a thousand sites this year. And most of them stay for the week. And there's a tent out there, 80 by 300 feet. So that's like two hockey rinks. Oh my goodness. And that's entertainment in the evening. And uh, this year they're opening up actually to the, to the community around because they bring in top quality entertainment. And of course, uh, we, we've been talking about it in Cornwall and I don't think everybody understands how big this is. Where are people coming from? Oh, they're coming from all over. Uh, there's people, they'll book this year probably half of the trailer sites for next year who follow the show around. And uh, because it, it, ha having it move around gets a little bit of the local flavor of what's going on. Like all the vendors here this year, uh, I'm putting up over 100 tents and some of them are pretty big. And um, everybody is here to, to, to find out about the area as well. And with that, they, they will vacation here in the future because they can see how much there is around here. Absolutely, and of course, when they head down to Cornwall, if they're staying overnight there, they don't have a camper in the campsite, uh, they're going to notice that we have a beautiful, beautiful piece of land there too, right along the St. Lawrence River. Yeah, I was down there the other day for the garlic festival, and it was okay. great. We had a great time down there. Give the guys a little bit of a break, and went down and got garlic up. Nice. Thank you so much, Ron, and we look forward to everything that's going on, and you guys are doing an awesome job out here in the heat, especially this long weekend. Oh, it's awesome. It's just like July, but I invite everybody to come out. You won't believe what's happening here in, uh, in Finch. It's, it's, it's an amazing project, and we're just happy to, to have it here this year. The lounge is full. 